Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Virtual Nunchucks. So I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're having a great uh, Monday. Uh, I really quickly, I don't want to put any gameplay of Assassin's Creed on the channel today. I'm just going to do a quick news update for you guys. Really quickly, over the weekend, um, it has been confirmed. There's an article in Forbes uh, or on Forbes' uh, website right now. It was also confirmed by Infinity Ward themselves in a tweet. I shared it on my Twitter account. If you don't follow me on Twitter, at V Nunchucks, I shared it on my Twitter account. The link to the to the uh, magazine or article, the online article is there. Um, Black Ops Four, not Black Ops Four. I'm sorry. Modern Warfare for uh, this this October is completely crossplay, which means Xbox One and PC uh, PC players and PS4 players can play together. Now. Um, it was rumored, uh, I put out a new, uh, a not rumored, but it was confirmed in a way, uh, thanks to a lot of people who were able to go to the event that Infinity War was holding. So I put out the news that you could cross-play, uh, and that you would have no traditional season pass, and the community's not going to be split, all that stuff. That's also on the channel, so you need to check that out. Um, but it was confirmed by Infinity War themselves. They even, uh, gave me the link to the article to say go ahead and check it out um, so that is confirmed if you go to my Twitter uh, find the tweet it's there um, so check that out uh, so it's completely cross-play alright now they did specifically uh, state that it's more in the, the vein of um, Fortnite so for example Fortnite players can play on console versus PC, um, but the input, uh, the inputs are, or what they're looking at. So, like for example, if um, you play with a controller on your PC, those uh, players uh, on PC will be uh, put in a party or a lobby with controller players on console. Um, if you play on keyboard, those people will be put in keyboard. Uh, lobbies unless you specifically join a PC lobby uh, with your friends or something like that at least that's how it looks so I uh, wanted to clarify that um, also it looks like um, that <clears throat> the multiplayer stuff like the specialists that we have in Black Ops 4 this year uh, that's not going to be a thing uh, it's just going to be more like the traditional Call of Duty, where if you uh, you know you can you can create your classes and you have boots on the ground and you have no special little uh, equipment and stuff. Uh, at least that's what it looks like now. That much is pretty much confirmed. Um, wanted to make sure that uh, I clarified that uh, for you guys. Also, it has been confirmed, if you missed it, uh, Death Stranding is coming out this year. I believe it's set for a, I want to say a October release or November, somewhere around there. I don't remember the exact date, and I'm sorry about that. I had it in front of me, and I can't remember uh, now. Um, but uh, So that's confirmed for this year, Death Stranding. Um, and also, uh, The Last of Us 2, in case you missed that uh, uh, as well, uh, has been moved to possibly February. We know early 2020 for sure, um, but Kutaku is reporting that it will be early February uh, 2020 uh, and that um, the last official release before the PS5 uh, from a first party standpoint will be uh, the Ghost of Tsushima, which I am totally looking forward to and I'm hoping that uh, I get to play that um, so so that's the biggest announcement for the weekend uh, I hope you guys have a great great Monday uh, there there was another big announcement too over the weekend in case you missed it and it's been all over Twitter as well as well as all over the internet the World Health Organization uh, has classified a gaming disorder, which I don't know why they didn't call it gaming addiction, um, as defined by the following: if it basically if it inf interferes with everyday life uh, things like your social life, uh, hygiene, uh, you know things that would hinder you from taking care of everyday life things, uh, and you're and you're basically stuck in a room and that's all you do is game and you don't really care about the outside world too much. Uh, you know, check that out. Google it. 
check it out. Uh, read, up, read up on the article. It's pretty interesting. I don't know how they're going to, now that they've classified it, I don't know the treatment options. Nobody does right now. Um, but if you're one of those people that game a lot, like myself or other people, then um, take a look at that because, uh, I mean, I personally don't think I'm addicted um, because I don't let it interfere with my family life or my, my personal life. However, um, I know some people that, that pretty much do that all the time and that's all they do and that's all they know how to do. So that kind of hits close to home for me. So um, that information is out there if you want to take a look at it. Uh, if you do suffer from that, please, oh, please find a way to get some help. Um, because gaming is fun. Gaming is is, uh, is something that you can do to have a lot of fun uh, with people as well as um, uh, on your own. I like this single player channel here. But um, it definitely doesn't need to interfere with your personal life and uh, your health in general. So I hope you guys can find a way to get some help if you're out there and, and you have that kind of a problem. Um, <clears throat> other than that, guys... Um, I am kind of looking forward to uh, the next week or so. Uh, the next update for Black Ops 4, if you're a Call of Duty player, comes out on the 4th, which I believe is Tuesday, uh, which is tomorrow. So, um, you know, that that's going to happen. The next phase of the operation, the Days of Summer, plus the next phase of the Operation uh, Spectre Rising will be out. Um, Gosh, uh, there's just a lot going on. Uh, we're looking forward to E3. That's coming up on the 11th. Uh, probably we'll start officially uh, pre-E3. We'll start on the 10th, which is a Sunday. I may not get all the information on Sunday uh, without having to go back and watch it later. But if there's any big announcements or anything like that, obviously I will let you guys know. Uh, E3 is always a big announcement, so we're kind of hoping that we get some information. Hoping to find out some information about PlayStation, even if it is through a uh, little... Uh, bits and pieces like state of play or whatever but that steel gray um, PS4 uh, will be released around June 7th that much we do know and June 7th through the 17th they're planning on having a huge huge massive sale on PSN uh, for for the days of play uh, event that they always do over the summer so uh, that'll be worth checking out uh, for those of you who are looking into that kind of stuff. Uh, I am personally saving up for this fall. I'm saving up money for games coming out this fall. New releases coming out. Uh, so um, for now I'm going to stick to what I have. Uh, and we're going to do some Assassin's Creed. And some Red Dead. And uh, maybe some you know, some Blackout and stuff like that. 2pm um, Eastern Standard Time uh, today. I will probably, hopefully, uh, have my phone and internet fixed. I have a problem with that right now. Um, they're supposed to come out today and fix it, so I'm hoping to be able to do my Twitch stream today today at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, but how you know how the phone company works. From 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. is a possibility of the window that you have, so someone has to be home. So I'm kind of hoping that that is not the case. If I do not get to stream uh, on Monday, I will stream on Tuesday. Uh, so tomorrow, I will stream on tomorrow uh, if I do not get to stream today. So please, oh please, oh please, uh, um, I will try to keep you updated as to what's going on on Twitter. But uh, again, with my internet being the way it is, I don't know that I'll be able to do that. So I just wanted to put that out there for you guys to understand and see. Um, and uh, I wanted to get that out as soon as I could uh, for those of you who are followers and subscribers and all that good stuff. Because I missed last week because of the holiday and I don't want to do it again, but I may not have an option. Uh, depending on when they can get out and fix my, my internet. Um, Alright guys, but that is pretty much all that happened over the weekend. There was a lot of stuff. Um, there was a lot of stuff revolving around the Call of Duty thing because obviously that's the big uh, announcement so far. That's the only thing people are concentrating on right now because really we don't have anything from E3. Um, and we don't have any real news from PlayStation. Not a whole lot from Xbox either. So 
uh, we're kind of waiting for all kinds of information. So as soon as we get it, we will let you know. In the meantime, though, you can follow me on Facebook.com slash Virtual Nunchucks, Twitch.tv slash Virtual Nunchucks, where every Tuesday, at, or excuse me, every Monday at 2 p.m. Eastern, we try to stream, uh, with the exception of maybe uh, tomorrow, or today, rather, because of my internet. Uh, <laughs> we'll see how that works. And then, of course, um, you can follow me, of course, on, on uh, Twitch, at, or Twitch, on Twitter, at VNunchucks, uh, which I try to post uh, as soon as I get updates or as soon as I get news, I try to post on there. Um, I'm waiting for information from uh, Call of Duty itself or from uh, Infinity Ward. Hopefully they'll respond to a small guy like me. I'm trying to find out about microtransactions, accessibility features, um, things like that. Um, because that's important to me as a gamer because I'm disabled. Uh, it's important to uh, some, some of my subscribers and some of my friends, uh, other YouTubes. Uh, channels and so uh, we're trying to find out information as soon as I can get that information out I will um, just trying to do a lot for you guys and don't forget uh, every Monday through Friday uh, here on this channel I put out anything from opinion pieces to gaming news to gameplay to walkthroughs if it's gaming we talk about it here we try we're very very hard to talk about it and let you know what's going on um, around the gaming world um, so hope you guys have a great Monday and we will talk to you again soon um, and I pay attention to my Twitter account because I will let you know as soon as my internet is back up and hopefully it'll be up before 2 um, so I can go ahead and stream for you guys if not I will stream on Tuesday for at least a couple hours with you guys okay thank you guys very very much for uh, supporting the channel uh, if you're new around here subscribe of course and uh, like the video because it always shows you support youtube pays attention to that kind of stuff says hey <laughs> they like this guy maybe we'll promote him a little bit so uh just keep it out there and thank you again we've hit 15 subscribers which honestly a year ago um a, a veteran gamer a seasoned gamer an old guy like me I did this, started doing this as a hobby because uh, I've been officially retired at 40 years old uh, and the only thing I can do is help homeschool my son now. Um, so this was, this was a, a, this was a keep me from being bored kind of thing and wanted to do something cool and, and, and have a lot of fun doing it. And I appreciate you guys. I have 16 subscribers now. Um, and I honestly never thought that that would happen. I never thought that that would happen. I always thought that maybe I'd just put stuff on the internet and it'd just be there. And eventually somebody might pay attention. So I appreciate everybody um, who who follows this channel, who subscribes. I really do appreciate it. It means a lot. I'm not as big as everybody else. And that's okay. That's okay. Because, like I said, it was just to keep my mind active and keep me active as a person. So I appreciate everybody. I wanted I wanted to put that out there as well. Hope you guys guys have a great Monday and we will see you again tomorrow, okay? Thanks guys.